Good morning, everyone. Good, morning. good to see you guys. I'm it's in good my... to be back. Sorry I, I slept through this last weekend. Oh, uh... How dare you! <laughs> yeah, I was sick last weekend, so I didn't even remember what happened. <laughs> <laughs> did we stream? I don't remember. We did I it, did we? I know I didn't, because I, I know... woke up halfway through the stream. I know I... Through... I know I don't remember. <laughs> oh, gosh. I just realized I sat down and I'm not prepared at all. So uh, hey. I'm going to go get my coffee and my water for my painting. So I feel like yeah. I have to remember how to do things. I know. Go do your thing. Go we do your thing. You here. guys chat. Yeah, I'll, chat. Uh, I'll let X-Ray Girl take over because um, she had a very interesting week slash oh, weekend oh my god uh yeah yeah we can call it that i mean <laughs> saturday was kind of the driving day so it wasn't really like content stuff but right, right. i had so much fun at content house in the poconos with chrissy Mayer, carrie smith keanu zia camelot uh drew from compound media um, who else was there? Gino Bisconti. Uh, did I get everyone? Oh, and Mark, of course. Mark came as well. So that was really fun. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Catching up on sleep is going to be fun. I, I mean, believe it. I, I got my first eight hours from the last, like, five days to l today. So it was oh worth it. Oh, my and goodness. I... Wow. Chat saw a whole new side of me, I'm sure. How so? I don't know. Uh, there was a hot tub moment. I saw the. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> oh my funny. god! I had no idea that that hot tub stream was just kind of on the entire time, mm. and like I, my first thought was, uh, "Oh my god, did they see or hear anything we did that was stupid?" And then I was like, "Well, something I would." It's all stuff I would have done on the internet anyway. So yeah. Really, is it really that bad? <laughs> Was it really that bad? I don't know. You guys I, will have to tell me. I was gonna say I didn't watch the whole thing, but uh, I uh, maybe I will have to go back and watch the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know. The hot tub stream just had music and us just like just being silly. There was one part we were singing, and then Mark was saying, like, he just looks like us, like, dancing around and saying the same thing. I was like, well, as singing is. Yeah, yeah. What, what were you guys mm -hmm. saying? Some uh, Backstreet Boys in sync? No, the, um, I'd say, because Camilla and Zia and Mark have very similar taste in music. It's like rock music. Oh. What rock music? I have no idea. So, there's, there's that. Okay. I, um, I live under a rock. I mean, there were some songs I knew, so I mean, there's that, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> was there a boob slip? No, Ben, there was not a boob slip. Oh shoot! It is YouTube. <laughs> there's no boob slips allowed, okay? Oh my but gosh! But <laughs> I were... did. Yeah. Oh wait, go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say, if it were Twitch the past few days, you might have gotten away with it. 
Yeah, so I've heard. Twitch yeah. is a... I, you know what? I was not surprised about the possibility of having uh, artistic, you know, artistic sexiness being okay on Twitch because they they are so money hungry, Twitch, Don't that they it. would. They would. Yeah. But the question is, at that rate, when does the line get drawn when it's actually too much nudity? Mm -hmm. Right? Because... Yeah, how do you determine, like, what is, like, a renaissance painting of, you know, a sculpture or a beautiful woman, you know, uh, changing clothes or something, and then just straight up, like, AI porn? <laughs> There's a yeah. little bit of a difference. A and, little bit. Right? Just a little bit. So it's I like, know. well... <laughs> But the funny thing is, like, imagine you're a parent and you hear that, like, you're just, you're not, I'm not letting my children near Twitch. Oh, well, the, the main thing is advertisers. Like, that is advertiser poison. If you're trying to make, if you're trying to monetize off of the ads and marketing on Twitch, you're immediately going to start pulling your stuff down and, and pulling out of your advertising, like, backing and stuff. Because you, you just can't monetize that. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I think Twitch got st scared and was like, oh my God, we're going to lose all of our money. <laughs> they, they should have thought of that in the first place, realistically. Like, mm. come on. Who, who wouldn't have thought that like, you're, you're going to lose money with artistic nudity? I mean, I, yeah. boobies sell. They do, <laughs> yeah, but they not do. with that. Uh, ads are mainly uh, the, the money makers are the kids ads. Mm. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I, I think Twitch definitely lost its way and didn't realize that people were going to instantly exploit that. And, like, you really have to make rules for kids that are in kindergarten because people will try to break them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Yep. I mean, look at what it is even before they had to look at this policy and think about... What can we do about it and change about it? There is a ton of stuff that is like wildly inappropriate. The hot tub streams. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think that should be on Twitch. I don't think any of the um, obviously sexual content should be on Twitch. That needs to go somewhere else. I just where they check ages and stuff. Yeah, and Twitch technically is supposed to. But, I mean, I know my 10-year-old nephew has a freaking Twitch account, so. <laughs> yeah, just. Like, it... kids are gonna lie. I mean, I did it back yeah. in the day whenever I wanted to be on, like, different sites and stuff, so. And that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. It just feels like, uh, it feels like just the, the, the people who are doing these, like, paint paint my body streams and like i'm just gonna be completely naked but it's artistic expression guys we're we're, we're painting our naked buttholes and stuff it's like okay so like, <laughs> believe it or not the people who are really upset about it are not just the booby streamers but the people who are genuinely upset about it are the artists who are the like not safe for work artists of course um yeah. those are the ones that i got quote tweeted the most like, really yeah i feel like they they should be upset because i mean if you are i was telling x-ray girl if you are like a renaissance paint painter or if you're a sculptor or something that's trying to capture but people the aren't doing that like I, the artists that i see that are on there are just it's either furry porn yes yeah <laughs> or it is just very graphic like, and I'm not saying that these people aren't good artists. I'm just saying that they need to pick somewhere where that is going to um, be more widely accepted than Twitch. Right. Like, if they want to, if they want to paint that type of stuff, there are more than likely other platforms out there that would promote that. But Twitch, it's not their their job to do that. It's yeah. Uh... Yeah, it's also, it feels, um, I don't know, it just feels so lazy uh, to just go on there and just 
uh, stream and just have uh, have people pay, buy in or pay in and just do a hot tub stream. It's like, do just do something, right? Like you have all these extremely talented creators who are either painting or video gaming or just chatting or like whatever it is that are actually doing something on their platform that ha like mm -hmm. has to include talent. And I just feel like a lot of these, whether it's men or women, are just exploiting that and saying, I'm not talented, I'm not interesting, but I can sell my body and I'll, t I'll do that for likes and attention. It just seems, uh, yep. just seems disingenuous. I don't know. I completely agree. I think that they're utilizing this platform because of its wide audience towards kids. Yeah. And I think a lot of people forget that the main demographic is younger kids. Like there are some of us, like my my main age range in my demographics are in like the late twenties to like the early forties. That's kind of the main demographic that watches me and i think and i like being able to see those graph those demographics because i can gear my content more towards those those people which yeah. is helpful like i can kind of say the things i want to say like i'm typically i i still try to be mindful of kids being on there but it's definitely, I'm a little bit more, more lenient with mine just because I know that my follow base is more adults. Yeah. But we... I do think that they still need to be mindful of the fact that children have access to that site. And you've, if you don't want to follow those rules, then get out. Yeah. Or, yeah, just start yeah. streaming on... Uh, prawn hub <laughs> I mean, yeah like, the hub just do live, uh, yeah. live streaming from the hub right i mean that's what that's there for i mean i don't know you are so in my space today you're never in my space <laughs> why are you in my space that's gus hi gus he's saying hi to you hi gus 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 got a beautiful picture with santa claus the other day oh he did oh distinguished gentleman He's Maybe. very dapper. <laughs> I wish I was as dapper as he is. I loved his hat. I had people like stopping me to take pictures of him in that hat. Oh, I love it. Oh, really? That's adorable. Yes. Adorable. It was the best $7 hat I've ever bought. <laughs> <laughs> Worth every penny. So, X-Ray, I'm so sorry. I, I got off on a tangent there uh, on Twitch, but... Um, so no, yes, it's all you, good. Thought content. <laughs> yes, thought content. I want to hear more about your trip. So how, is this something that Chrissy does every year? Uh, what, what was it called? Where can we find um, it? All that good stuff. So it's on Chrissy Mayer's channel. Okay. Go over there. It's 48 hours at least of live content nonstop. We went nonstop. Wow. Um, and honestly, I'm like, I, I, I'm impressed by the camaraderie of the people that were there. There was always someone ready to to make content for people, to chat, to shop, to cook, to, I don't know. And you know, people still had their own streams. Um, I did not work on Friday Night Tights officially, okay? I did not work for Gary oh, at all during this trip. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, so it, uh, I was I was napping at that point. <laughs> that's good. Gary knows. Gary knows. I told him. I well, told him. So <laughs> that's good that Chrissy took over for you then, because she, she, yeah, she was on the panel. Chrissy, Chrissy was the producer that day. You know. Yeah. Oh really? Yes. Yes. I didn't work on FNT at all or for Gary the entire time. So. Wow. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a good mm -hmm. boss. That's a good boss. It's a great boss. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, it, where where can people find it? Yeah, 48. I think in total, there was like 56 hours. I ended up waking up at the last, like the, the stream after dark with Keanu and Gino Bisconti. And they were, they're so freaking cute, those two. Uh, you know, I, I, I chalk it up to, they haven't been married yet. <laughs> I, mean, I tease them because I'm like, oh my God, I remember when I used to be like that. I mean, no. I still like that, just not at the... um consistency they do it let's just say you know 
the consistency you know? of which they are intimate? Uh, the, not intimate, but just like all the cutesy stuff like Mark and I used to do. Like, you know, when, you know, you first start dating versus like yep. years married. Like, I'm not going to go on top of him and be like, ah! <laughs> oh. you know, <laughs> although I'm sure he would love that. I do it like maybe once versus like 10 times, you know, Okay. Okay. from, you know, beginning of dating. You, you settle into uh, the, 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 the life, you know, when you have that uh, reassurance and you know that it's going to always be there. You don't feel the need to be like right in your face, at least in public. Yeah, at least in public. I will do it more so in private, but that's just a maybe. It's just a me thing. No, I, I can see that. I, I think once you, like you said, once you get into the rhythm, you 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 see this person twenty four seven. I mean, you live with them, you spend time with them, you share every moment with them, and so those like little cutesy uh, honeymoon. What, what do they call it? Honeymoon phase. Um, yeah, those little mom moments of the honeymoon phase, kind of slowly, just um, I guess they flutter into just your everyday life. Um, yeah. But so it was just cute seeing the two of them like that during their stage because they're they're planning their wedding. They're um, I think they're getting married sometime next year. So yeah. Yeah, it was adorable. And then seeing Chrissy's pregnant belly. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah. She's a, she's a very cute pregnant woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny cuz she's like, you know, she's been training really hard. She was like for the wedding, you know, she was in the gym almost every morning, you know, training, doing like, you know, all all the all these different hit workouts and uh she, you know, looked looked fantastic. And uh, she still looks great, but I just feel bad because now it's like, oh, Prager, Prager's now. <laughs> now I get to just be pregnant. So, yeah, she she's still training. Good for her. Hard worker. I love it. I know, I know. And she's like, I don't know when she's gonna slow down. Like I thought the pregnancy would slow her down, but she's still like on it. I mean, between Content House and then she's at TP USA right now. Like that's right. That's insane. Oh man, and that. I mean, from what I've heard, that baby wears you out. You know what I mean? Like you, you have to sit down. You have a lot of swelling, nausea, like all that stuff. Just kind of will make you so exhausted. Mm -hmm. So good mm -hmm. for them. Yup, yup. God, being pregnant sounds like it's hard work, even though you have to just lay there at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the start is the easiest part of the entire thing. How it happens. Yep. I wouldn't know, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, Carrie, you guys just get to have fun. You guys aren't really exactly. That, uh, yeah. I don't have to worry about ever getting knocked up. It's great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a uh, want the. I would not want the 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 body repercussions. You know, that your stomach muscles get pulled apart. I don't know what else happens. What yeah. else happens? Yeah, no, I'm good. The, the need to pee increases, the nausea, the... Mm. Uh, oh, I, I would want the hair, though. I want to keep the hair. Mm. I hear that you you don't ever lose hair when you're pregnant. Oh, isn't that what um, uh, Mrs. N was saying? So you have yep, and she has a lot of hair. It's not fair. <laughs> Mel has, oh. like... I, I've never seen so much hair on an individual person, like on their head. <laughs> like, yep. Yeah. Her head hair <laughs> looks like a lion's mane. It's incredible. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm very jealous. I'll never have hair like that. And, you know, that's fine. Yeah. That's all right. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no. Poor Max. Oh, it's okay. I don't need hair like that. You know what I mean? At least I you just like so. want it. Oh, I love. It. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. I'd grow up my beard and my head hair, and I'd just walk around braided hair like a Viking. <laughs> oh, I forgot a water dish. I am gonna be right back. Mm -hmm. While you are getting that, I just want to say hi to uh, Cajun, Psychotic, uh, Josh, Lone Wolf. Uh, let's see. 
and I th and Keely Chow. Good to see you guys. And uh, hail to my man Josh, because he comes in here with a 17 months of a membership. Gosh dang. He says, I tried doing a moob stream on Twitch and got canceled. Free the moob. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, thank you uh, for the 17-month membership, dude. Gosh dang, that is so rad. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, moobs are not as great as boobs. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. Pecs? Pecs I mean, are I good. don't know. Have you seen, have you watched the second season of Reacher yet? See, that's There's the thing. a very great shirtless scene of him. Oh. Oh, a shirtless scene? Yes. I appreciate a good shirtless scene. And the that's... guy is built like a tank. <laughs> or a Greek god. I don't mm. know. Um, One of them. See, that's the thing. Uh, is like, I accept okay. all. <laughs> It's like there's a difference between the moobs and the pecs. You want the pecs. That's that's. Yeah, the, he's uh, got, he wants the, the pecs. Yeah. He's got he's got a, he's got a good chest to him. That's for sure. Ooh, chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, I remember a few streams ago I asked you guys what is the equivalency of female like what what is the equivalency of boobs but on like the male body. And I think both of you guys answered similar, similarly, similarly, uh, shimmery, shimmery, and said uh, like chest and shoulders. Yep, hell yeah. It's a frame. They need to. Uh, yes. They, they need to make. Well, I guess they do make a shirt that accentuates the chest and shoulders, and that's a tank top, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm down for a tank top. A good old tank top on a man. Is that like the boob window? Uh, no, but it's just like gym wear, which gym wear can be hot too. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, chatting with Zia, and we were really talking about how like men can have a very interesting scent when they can they work out. Sometimes it's you know not appetizing. No. And then sometimes it's like, oh my god, I could like smell this man all day long type of thing. Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Because uh, I, I had no idea that I had that, which, you know, thank you, thank you, Mark, for complimenting me. Um, but I just I don't sniff enough men at gyms, apparently. <laughs> you know, I'm not a Biden or something. Yeah, yeah. It's probably good that you don't do that, yeah. Chris, what do you want? Yeah. You've never... Sorry. He's so needy today. Oh my goodness. Why are you being so needy today? Do you need to go outside? It's raining. You're not gonna like it. You're yeah. gonna come right back inside because you're a little puss who doesn't <laughs> like getting his paws wet. Aw, he's so prissy. That no. sounds like Jojo. He's like, no, no, mommy. I must come back inside. Mommy. You wanna go outside? Or are you wanting to A breakfast? little British dog. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mommy, I do think my paws are a little wet. Or a, a, a little moist. <laughs> It's, he's it's like, he fun. never does this. He's got like his head like underneath like the armrest of my chair. Oh. Uh, maybe he wants to cuddle you today. He's like, I'm feeling just sad. Why are you being cuddly? You're never cuddly. Hmm. Is he okay? I hope he's okay. Yeah, maybe he's feeling like uh, sick or lonely or something. Why are you being needy? Do you want to go outside? Your tail's wagging when I say that word. <gasps> <laughs> he, he knows I guess one. we found it. Yeah. Want to go outside? Come on. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna feed him, so I will be right back. That's okay. what I'm like 90% sure. That's what he wants. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Any, yeah, don't go uh, full Biden. I don't yeah. know, Max. Do you feel the same way? Do women have a scent when they're working out that you personally enjoy? Not maybe not all women. Some women. Uh, I too do not go around smelling women in the gym, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I do not think I can effectively Answer say that. if there is a certain scent. Um, I will say for me, even as a guy, even I'm like, ugh, I smell awful after I get back from the gym. Um, so I like. I don't have a scent. Yeah. So I don't know. So I. I don't know what that's like. I. Um, I will say, I think I probably prefer, 
uh, just the natural pheromones or scent of just like uh, an individual, like a woman without perfume sometimes. Cause that they're just, if you're really, if you've been with that person for a while, if you've dated them for a while, you just, I don't know, that scent becomes really familiar. And I think that becomes very attractive. Um, mm. But yeah, I've never been like, oh, uh, you just came back from the gym, eh? Let's uh, get it on. It's like, eh. Hey, you went full Canadian there for yeah. a moment. <laughs> I'm taking after you. Huh? you you've, you've rubbed off on me. Oh my God. Chat, don't take that the wrong way. Oh no. no. <laughs> X-ray girl is rubbing off on people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, people are definitely taking that the wrong way. Oh boy, sorry. <laughs> I just ruined your chat stream. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm sure the chat loves it too. Yeah. Th if they know that I'm rubbing off on people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, I, I, I personally do, have not been like, oh my God, that sweaty smell is just so good. But maybe I just haven't smelt the right sweat. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. There's, uh, I, I feel like, I mean, you guys know me. I'm very, I feel like I'm fairly uh, like a, a clean person, right? And like hygiene means a lot. Uh, cleanliness means a lot. So I don't really like the idea of, oh, come back from the gym and immediately just start, you know, ripping each other's clothes off. It's like, eh, 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 take a shower. <laughs> oh, well, okay. There we go. Um, that is, uh. We've learned something new about Max. Yeah. <laughs> dirty. Wait, Josh says, <laughs> Kara just says dirty. <laughs> um, Josh Love said it. he started season one of Reacher and that he thought it was kind of funny that the main guy got a start on American Idol. What? What? I, the, the place I saw him was on New Girl. Oh. <laughs> so... Do you guys remember the episode about the micro penis? Uh, no, I, <laughs> I do not. But please tell I me more. Say I know. I was very sensitive about his uh, downstairs regions okay. because he's got a micro pee pee. On American Idol? No, on New Girl. On New Girl. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense now. <laughs> and so that's like the premise of the episode is this like really good looking guy who's like tall and muscular but he has this yes. one thing is that like the catch yes okay interesting okay. how do they handle that's, it did you like the episode uh it was funny i think he ended up crying oh <laughs> um he was very sensitive uh and they did not stay together I would not want to be the actor for the micropene, you know, having that associate you get with that forever. I was watching the first episode, like when I remember when I started watching Reacher, I was like, this guy looks so familiar. Like, what do I know this guy from? And sure enough, I was like, oh my God, that's the micro penis guy. Oh my God. The micro peen, it's not a good thing to be known for. It's no. not. Cause you got a big dude like Reacher. And then what he's he's previously in is a, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he probably was like talking to his manager and he's like, are you sure this is the only role you could find for me? <laughs> it's like, well, yeah. A role where I can't find my own peen. Yeah. <laughs> now there's, no. there's a difference between like, you know, say the, say the episode was like, oh yeah, it's pretty small. And it's like, oh, they're making fun of him for being, like, you know, s small or whatever, comparatively. And then there's a difference between, like, oh, he's small or he has a actual condition, which is, like, a medical condition, which mm -hmm. is, you know. Now, I'm curious if girls use it as a pickup line for him. Like, can I find out? Mm hmm? I can see oh, girls do that. Oh, interesting. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyone who's hit on him, please let us know. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. My my 98% male audience, <laughs> you can let me know <laughs> if you've done that before. Corey's saying I know him from the live-action Titans TV show. 
Okay. That's oh. right. Yeah. Also, hi. Good morning, everybody. I'm good sorry. Morning. I was running late this morning, and I did not have coffee. Yeah, so. coffee makes the difference. Makes mm -hmm. the world go round. Um, I was in. I was awake. I was just still in bed and very tired. I was telling Max, I'm like, I don't know if Kara's up yet. She hasn't made her stream. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, she'll, yep. she'll be here. It's okay. I'll, I'll be there. I might be uh, well, like... still with like some bed head and a hoodie on, but I'll be there. Um, Magnum Norse for $10. Thank you so much. As a dude that thro that's thrown a lot of potties, I've never had a proclivity for sweatiness. Kind of gross. <gasps> we're talking about sweat still. I love it. Thank you, Magnum. It actually um, cracked me up because I think, like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, we actually just went and toured a couple gyms yesterday, um, because I'm we're looking at getting a gym membership, and there's one by us that's like really nice that I think we're gonna go to. We've got a week Ooh. to try it. Hell so. yeah! Good for you guys. I love that, Kara. That's super cool. Yeah, it's got it's the the biggest draw for it for us is that it has a like a heated pool. Ooh, <gasps> yeah, buddy. Oh, I would love just a sauna or a steam room. That for there's me. There's a hot tub. Would, oh, oh. We you don't have a. Much. There's not a sauna, but there is a uh, there is a hot tub. A hot tub, it could be fine. You know, you could do a lot in a hot tub. Like sweat. <laughs> yeah, you can. Hot tub. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe, maybe a hot tub stream. You know, oh, I hear I hear at, people at like public, that at the public gym. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's right. You did one, didn't you? Yes, I did. And how did that make you feel? Uh, well, to be honest, I had no idea it was that uh, apparent about uh, you know being in the water. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I thought what was happening was we were being a small window on a stream where people were talking, but apparently that was just actually the stream. Oh. And I don't want to watch it. <laughs> now I have to go back and watch it. <laughs> and relive the moment. I didn't bring a swimsuit, okay? I brought, I was wearing a t-shirt from my, uh, you know, wardrobe. I didn't want to wear my bras. My bras and chlorine would probably get destroyed. So, yeah. That's what happened. Well, it doesn't sound like a very eventful uh, hot tub stream then. No, I just Nothing. know from the thumbnail picture that I saw that Camelot's like arm was like kind of behind um, Zia's, Zia's, and so it looked very feminine. Yes, <laughs> uh, you know Camelot um, only jerks off with his left arm. Mm. Oh, he's a lefty. Interesting. <laughs> That's why it's so strong. Yeah. Just, just wanted to put it out there. <laughs> Y'all wanted to know, right? Mm. Right? <laughs> That's just what I needed to know. Thank you. Thank you. You're Rachel. welcome. <laughs> she's she's answering all the hard hitting questions that we want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> um, Psychotic says, "Don't worry, the hot tub wasn't bad." Okay, good. Thank you. I'm glad someone's on my side. <laughs> uh, Josh says, "If I'm getting paid twenty to thirty k an episode to play a character with a micro peen, cut the check." So, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I guess you're not you know, wrong, Josh. But tax that and then see if it's worth it. Yeah. What would the tax be? Depends on the state, I suppose, that you're being paid in. Probably like 40%. Seriously? The hell's wrong with your country? Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> what about uh, what about residuals, though? I mean, if it continually plays on uh, cable That's television, um, you may residuals get some residuals. Residuals might be good. So, I mean, I rewatch New Girl all the time. Like, right? I've rewatched the whole show multiple times. Oh, but yeah. if on streaming, streaming, you don't make as much as you do on cable television, though. True. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're making sense every time in one of those plays. So, which mm -hmm. I mean, over time could maybe add up. But yeah, the, yeah. the streaming is not um, not as profitable. I'm sure the kickbacks from like shows like Office have been great. Oh my God, those people can retire. Oh yeah. But the and, office is still showing on cable TV as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Friends. I know. And... Like I watch both of those um, on. Uh, I I know Friends is on Nick at Night. Um, cool. because I use my brother's uh, YouTube TV, which mm -hmm. has like access to like the bigger like network channels. Yeah. 
So that's what I watch them on. I'm still shocked about the taxes. Holy crap. And then yeah, don't I know, forget. like, I got a bonus. I got a very big bonus last year whenever um, LRG sold the company. And, um, or they got bought by Embracer. And they gave me a very big bonus that I got, like, maybe half of. Wow. Oof. And I used it as a down payment for my car. Oh, nice. When, um, okay. So, LRG, you were you on the, in the same state as LRG at the time when you yeah. were working for them? Okay. Because, like, say, like, well, example, Ripa. And this is, like, an American thing. You know, they're based in Texas. You're based in whatever state you're in. I don't want to say. Um, and, um. I get taxed get... by my state. Okay, okay. Thank you. You, you know, know yeah. with that. What's interesting too is that uh, if you're an actor, once you get taxed off of your thing, then you have to also pay your representation. So if you have a manager or agent, which you most likely have, you will also then have to pay them as well. So by the time you actually get your check, if you are not a working actor, like if you're only getting a few gigs every few years, that's it's tough, which is why a lot of these actors have you know, uh, waitress or waiting jobs or bartending jobs. And, um, cause yeah, you have to be a you have to continually work as an actor, uh, to be able to make a living. So, which for some people they want, you know, they almost want to get typecast. Um, like I did a extra role for a cop, uh, like as a police officer, and uh, they had us go up to LA. We were up there for like the entire day. It was like 12 hours. Um, it was for a music video. But uh, that next week, uh, the individual who was casting was like, hey, we need another cop again. And he's like, you know, if you keep doing this, you'll, you'll get typecast as a cop and continually make good money because people need cops for different shows or movies or music yeah. videos. And I was like, do I want to be a cop for the, like playing a cop for the rest of my, I just got out of the military, you know, do I want to do this? So it's a legitimate concern that I think actors have to think about is like, when I get typecast, that may be what I'm just always known for, but I could potentially make, you know, money off of it. So it's. If you don't want to be a big actor, I think that's a great, um, you know, sure. thing to do. Like imagine being the same grandma you know, in your elderly <laughs> yeah. years, I think it'd be fun. You know, the weird yeah. kooky grandma, uh, or or I guess your case grandpa. <laughs> and that's just uh, yeah, then who you are, and then it's like okay, well, makes it easy. Yeah, if you're okay with it. But I don't know. I think when you're young and hungry, you're like okay, like I can't be typecasted because just in case you have that one big break, you know, and that's sometimes all you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yep. Hello and so. good morning to Vex. Thanks for being in the chat, Vex. Love to see you here. Vex Electronica? Vex Electronica, the one and only. Ooh. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Vex. She's good people. I like her. She, uh, yeah, her channel's blowing up. She's got great content. She, uh, Ooh, I love her. Very um, nice. I love her commentary. Uh, she just does not give two F's about, uh, like how people perceive her or like, uh, she will roast, uh, guys in her comment section that give her a hard time. Oh? And I love that. She, uh, she's, she's a firecracker. So love it. Yeah. It's great. I, I've decided that, you know, the, how the people are saying like F white people, I'm going to, I'm going to do F white people like how i f my husband <laughs> I yeah know. i think it's so funny and so silly the the whole idea people like hate a race that much i mean think about how much progress uh we're leaving behind by now saying f white people like i really don't think that the major uh speakers and and you know um what would you call them the influential members of our society the like you know MLK that have, that 
you know, really did so much for the civil rights movement and everything. I don't really know if he would be going around saying, yeah, F white people is a, is a good term, you know? But uh, here we are. Yup. Yup. But yes, uh, a lot of us white people do want to be effed in <laughs> the way that you're talking about x-ray so see i was right yeah. more <laughs> white people human. effing yeah <laughs> we want to promote that us white people need love too so uh let's promote the love. getting f i think that's how we should be taking that phrase from now on <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's you know it. it would just throw take... it right back in their place yeah f right. them right Right in their holes, all their holes, <laughs> all, their holes. <laughs> all the holes, the bonus holes. <laughs> hey, we love the bonus hole. Oh my god, it's just that. I'm uh, trying is, to look at a half glass full. <laughs> is, is that really trending on on uh, what is it, Meta or whatever it's called? Uh, I was it was a post about art, and it was like, um, it said. Like f white people on like the person's like suit, and then there was like oh, a poster of it. That. Yeah, and I just I, I kind of laughed because I thought in my head I'm like, haha, I I do, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like I'm just being silly now, <laughs> thinking of it like that. So, I mean, like you said, you're not technically wrong. Yeah, do it. Do. Yeah, you do it. I need loving too. Okay. <laughs> Oh god. I so, love the uh the trend with uh post your most iconic photo. Oh, Gary's is so oh, funny. I never uh I actually like he says that he's going to post it all the time. It just never came up in my head. So it's so weird seeing uh Gary Gary's, I don't know, card? Is it his, his ID card in prison? Card? Yeah. I thought it was so funny it said privilege card. <laughs> oh my god. It could not be more perfect. It says privilege card on it. He's got a, like a dirty stash and a 80s, 90s mullet. It's, it's just perfect. Wait, where is this picture? I have to look this up. Right it's on now. Twitter. It's, it's on, on Twitter. Twitter yeah. Check it out. You'll, you'll okay. love it. It'll You'll be love it. your background on your phone for the next year. It's just... <laughs> oh, God. It's perfection. It's absolute perfection. He's got, and, um, yeah, he's got balls for putting that out there and just being like, yep, this is who this is who I am, right? Full yeah. admittance. Oh, my gosh. Look right, though? Right, you. though? Uh, so I was... If that was 92, I was two years old at that time. I was being born. I was, I was not. Yet I was even so. This is four nine ninety two. So I was less than a month old. Oh I was barely two weeks old when this picture was taken. Well, where were you when Gary was present? <laughs> <laughs> Just were you coming out of the womb on that fateful day. <laughs> I think it's funny. I love it. I love it. I love he's so open about it. Oh yeah. Uh, chat in case you want to see. Especially... And I would say, I would say, I could see why that comment of, where, of the the Goldilocks or whatever happened. Yeah, that hair is long. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, coming from Cal Southern California with the golden mullet, Goldilocks, you know, he probably got shit for that in uh, <laughs> in the clink. Mm -hmm. He's he, he was very pretty too. Like you know, yeah. I think he was a pretty boy. Yeah. That very short the the amount of time that he was probably in there turned into not anymore. <laughs> I'm no longer just a. I'm boy. not anyone's girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. I had to decide I'm real quick. Messaging. I'm just. I'm commenting. I was like, Gary, how does it make you feel that I was barely a week old when this picture was taken? Oh no. <laughs> Should I tell him that I wasn't even. A, I was probably just barely a spermy at that it, time. Well, like sometimes when like super chats happen where they're like, oh yeah, I'm 22, 23, and I'm like, oh my God. They're so young. They keep getting younger and younger. Yeah. That's what Leo DiCaprio always says. Oh God. There was a, uh, there was a kid that um, in the Marine Corps uh, that I was like, uh, we, we were just making small talk and I was like, how was your... Uh, how was your weekend, you know, so-and-so? 
and he was like, oh, it was good, sir. I, you know, I uh, celebrated my birthday. And, and I was like, oh, no way. Happy birthday, man. I'm, I'm you know, h- how old did you turn? And he's like, oh, 20. And I was like, wait, so you were born in 2000? And he's like, yes, sir. And I was like, oh, my God. I had to, like, take a moment to, like, this is insane. So now we're seeing babies yep. that are born in, you know, the 2000s now. Yep. So weird. Mm-hmm. Freaking. So Holocron says, Extra Girl needs a button or badge for pinning on her chest or sleeve that says, I like to F the white man. Yeah. Or something. Kara, you're into crafts. Can you make that happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. F- uh... f white people man (laughs) i just need to make one for you that says uh i fuck white people yeah i'll I'll cover up the eye sometimes and then people will be like yeah and then i'll just be like hi and then you just (laughs) remove your hand and oh gus Uh. is back and being needy that actually i want to make that video now oh my god i want to make that as a video (laughs) Do it as a, like a little clip. It'll go viral on YouTube shorts. I know. I need, you know what? I'm just going to make a very random, um, uh, just like with paper and I'll like put it maybe a bit behind some plastic to look like a little name tag. <laughs> yes. I might have okay, to star the you outside. though, because that would be technically um, swearing. Mm, yeah, that's right? true. Right? That's a good question. Um, but yeah, you can start saying I F white people hard or I F white people gently or <laughs> like all the different types of <laughs> F white people. How yeah. do you like to F white people? Yeah. Uh, yes. Doggy. No I'm kidding. I prefer. Yeah. <laughs> Vanilla spicy. It's all good. As long as white people are getting F. <laughs> yeah I, I'll probably get like a lot of love and hate for that I love it <laughs> I love being controversial I don't know why and what's so funny is you're so like you're so cute and innocent that like when you're controversial it's not even really that bad and yet people will just go nuts um, mm-hmm. but... Mr. Warhammer <laughs> oh boy yep. hey, <laughs> I remember that I uh I had, I mean, my latest video was 30 minutes. It's probably my longest. Um, now, it's nothing like, you know, a Mauler video. but with the comic shop owner, right? Yeah. And it was fully scripted. And thanks to my man, Josh, for uh, we were up to like 2 o'clock in the morning uh, editing and um, kind of rewriting the script and making sure that we really wanted to hit every point that we possibly could. And we felt like we put a pretty good faith argument up there and uh no matter how good faith you are no matter how much you try and be non-controversial or whatever you will still get people who uh who are like you're the problem and it's like okay all right you'll you'll never be happy yeah f white people hard (laughs) in all their holes (laughs) in all the holes holes. (laughs) we don't discriminate here we hit all the holes (laughs) oh my god (laughs) Equal opportunity effing. Equal opportunity <laughs> holes, yes. I don't know why all these people are so obsessed with effing black people. Or not white people. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there you go, actually. That's going to get clipped. That oh, is boy. probably going to get clipped, yep. I don't know why they're obsessed with it. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, um, it's okay to have preferences, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's funny because... Normally, uh, like probably in high school, uh, there was a girl at at my uh, at my school that was like, "Oh, I prefer to date this type of person." And at the time, I was like, "Ah, oh, that feels kind of racist." And then after a while, I was like, "No, that's just her preference." You know what I mean? Like, I can't discriminate against that. I have preferences, and uh, mm-hmm. so you learn very quickly. It's like. You know, you're never, if someone has a per- certain preference, like that's what they want to date. Yep, and yep. Uh, you it's can't the same change thing with that. religion. Like, yeah. is that technically a, a, a ism? Kind of is, but like it makes it easier when you're with someone of the same faith. 
Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't say that about a religion, would you? Would you? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it is it is interesting when it comes into like body size and image, you know, because then it's like, well, I prefer someone who's thin. I prefer someone who's thick. I prefer someone who's tall, someone who's short. So you can have those preferences, but skin color is where we draw the line, you know? So it's Well, I think the first time I actually heard of like a type of ism or it it it, it, it or whatever was um with the trans people when they're like, "Why why are you transphobic?" I'm like, "Well, not necessarily. It's okay to not want to date a trans person. Just it comes with a lot of stuff that maybe a person's not ready to deal with or wants to deal with." Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, because you think about, I think there was that uh, thing going around that was like, uh, oh, if you don't date a trans person, you're transphobic. And it's like, no, because wouldn't I be gay? It, well, no, okay, so now we're getting into a whole different conversation. All I'm trying to say is, you're not transphobic if you don't date Yeah, trans. it's okay to have preferences. It's, yeah, it's okay to have preferences. Yep. I agree. And, um, Yeah. I like the peen with no <laughs> boobies. And we love you for that, X-Ray. And yes. I'm sure love yeah. Mark too for that, too. Yes. M Mark has no boobies and a peen, and I love it. Yeah. Just how your man should be. <laughs> F, F white people yep. <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm really just going to go hard with that. <laughs> I mean, you've Ooh. already... you. See, the thing now is that you have to say white people. Oh, sorry. F white people. There it is. You fully embraced the meme. <laughs> so Christmas is coming up. Have you guys gotten your Christmas shopping done? Yes. yes. <gasps> really? Oh, you guys are already done. Oh. It's called being organized. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's called being broke and only uh, buying for a select few people. Mm. Uh, on Black Friday. <laughs> when all the sales happened. I do love that for about Black Friday. Smart. Oh, my God. Very smart. It's the yeah. best way to buy gifts, in, in my opinion. I don't know. It, um, a lot of good sales. A lot of good sales. And things come to your door, which is the best. Ooh. Even better, yeah, on Amazon. You remember the days you had to actually go to the store and buy things in person? <laughs> I wonder Those if the demographic days. change changed since um, Amazon has become more prominent or like just delivery. Like who goes to the actual store to buy things? The people that want the televisions and then older people, maybe? Maybe. maybe. I, what I find so interesting is- uh, Good morning, honey. Your dog has been very needy today. Oh. <laughs> Your dog. Oh, not our dog. Your dog is needy. What makes you think that you think so she is me is needy? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <gasps> We've got drama on the painting needy. stream. <laughs> no. I love it. I love it. So, Josh says, uh, that he, he goes, I have preferences too, winky face. <laughs> oh, the preference is Max. <laughs> the you know, I heard that you guys like stayed up all night editing together. Editing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Editing what type of editing video? Editing what Ed? type of video? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So this is true. It, it's fine, you know, <laughs> to have these types of preferences. Sure, yeah. You're his favorite otter. I mean, yeah, we, we do have a competition to see who's the best otter, who's who's the, the favorite otter. Ooh, out of the two of you, who do you think's the the prettier one then? Uh, oh, wow. see, well, it's gonna be Honey, you're not an otter. You're, you're a bear. You're a bear. Yeah, he's a bear. Sorry. You're a honey badger. Oh, honey badger. Okay, oh, fine. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think Kara's Kara's the honey badger. Cause she's what fierce. am I? You... I'm small and 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 feisty. Yeah. Um, if I were a man and gay, what would I be? She is on the outside. Hey. Ah. Uh... That's a good question for chat. Chat. What would X-ray be if she were 
of the LGB uh, community. Yeah. What do you guys think? What uh, what animal would I be? I don't know all the animals either, so. Well, because you also have twinks, you have twunks. Uh, I, have... I think I'd be the personality of a twink. Yes. But like the yeah. body of a Asian bear, maybe. Asian bear? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, not hairy. <laughs> no, no, no. Ron no, no. Smith says I'm a, Are I'm you a bear. Panda? Are you a panda x-ray? Oh my god, <sighs> I'm a panda. X-ray's a panda. That's it. Panda I confirmed. I love it. I love it. I'm waiting for Josh to say because I don't, I don't know 100%. I feel like he would know. Yeah, we do have to get the official the expert? official expert on this. Yeah. We have officially added a new animal to the LGBTQA plus whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up. Yeah. <laughs> Someone says a duck, a bi dragon. <laughs> bi dragon. <laughs> I. I love, uh, yeah, I love Panda because, X-Ray, you are nine feet tall. So, I mean, I guess you would be a large, larger animal. I'm soft and cuddly. Very, very, they're cuddly. They're a little on the ditzy side. We <laughs> yes. don't know how they survive. Yes. <laughs> but they're super it's, it's... sweet. They're very, very sweet. And uh, all they want to do is eat and sleep. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. X-Ray turn into a ball and roll down hills. I, I will try. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will live my best panda life as possible. <laughs> um, it's oh my god, that's true. Pa oh, I was going to say, pandas can't uh, uh, are too lazy to reproduce. Uh, not the case. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, one thing that I am not a panda-like creature. There we go. So, so panda uh, and rabbit. Yes, yeah, panda yeah. everywhere else and rabbit in my pants. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Mark, where's where's Mark? We need Mark. <laughs> it's two clips this this stream. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey, not ashamed. Not ashamed about it at all. <laughs> Absolutely. That's that's the best part about it. No, the t shirt that we're making for her, it says I I fuck white people. Panda in the street, rabbit in the sheep. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I like what Jeremy said. Rabbit in the sheets. Yup. Absolutely perfect. I, I, I found my calling, my animal. The one I relate to the most. <laughs> <laughs> or animals. <laughs> uh, oh, Josh Lord. did say that when, uh, when you screamed out X-Ray and you were like, I like the peen. Um, he had his phone on him and he was listening to it like in uh, uh, public out in public and he said that so he was like oh I should probably turn this off yeah you should not listen to me in public without headphones I people shouldn't listen to videos in public without headphones anyway that's, a very good that's true that's true but sometimes say you're in your car and like you want to have the windows down yeah be careful yeah at least with my stream if you are I mean he's gay though, so it wouldn't be much of a surprise. <laughs> oh, like a prelude, he can like say, at least. Say yeah. you roll up next to a cute boy and the guy hears that it's like signal. Hey. Yeah. Hey. It's immediately like, oh okay, I know where this guy's priorities lie. Mm-hmm. In the sheets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh but anyway, Christmas shopping. No, I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about these sheets business. <laughs> hey, maybe you could get some. Uh, would, so would that be like a, a tell? So like if your husband or boyfriend got you new bed sheets, would you be like, oh, time to break these bad boys in? A nice little Christmas gift. Uh -oh. for, for me, it's uh, the, the cologne or the perfume. Ooh. Yes. Okay. We have a we have a bat signal for that. <gasps> bat signal. All right. You're like Mark. Get the bat signal. Get the bat signal. Yeah. Well, no. For him, it's like I put this on. It's like, Ooh, you know, it's time to go. Uh, I I I f white people. <laughs> <laughs> Duty call. Honey, you are already two two topics away. Aww. She has a signal for when she smells something she likes. 
so she needs a little rabbit signal and she can shine up there. So. Oh my god, a little rabbit signal for the <laughs> ceiling? <laughs> That I, you know what I want I would love like Mark will be on stream, and then like I will press the button from the bedroom, and <laughs> that I would love that signal just like shine somewhere, uh, where the audience can't see or I mean maybe if the audience can see they can understand. Yeah. And then be like sorry guys gotta end the stream bye. <laughs> it's like, why did Mark or end the stream quick, so quickly? a quick break? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, he's like. All right, guys, give me 38 seconds. And then he leaves and comes back to the stream. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pee. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> His hair is all disheveled. And he's like, yeah, I just had to pee. Sorry, guys. I just want you to know that my husband refuses to call Mark by his name and only addresses him as James Franco right now because of the mustache. Oh, my God. I'm surprised you know it what? Mario. It's, it's, oh, that too. Well, he was Mario for Halloween, so. Yeah, it looks great. Mm hmm he looked like a security guard when he was shopping with Zia and Chrissy. That was amaze balls. Hell yeah. Just in case, just in case. You never yeah, know. The agents on him, like the, that Costco security guard. I don't, I don't know that reference. Like a mall cop? A cost, Costco, Costco security. You love Costco. I do, but we don't have security guards at Costco. But would that turn you on? Would that turn me on? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> they can get me all the good stuff. I mean, I feel like it's mixing two very different things. I'm not sure if I'm ready for it yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, Co Costco, when I go to Costco, it's my uh, uh, being a mom time type of thing. Like, oh, yeah. uh, or, or, or wife of the house trying to... You know, make sure everything's organized, shopping for stuff. But hey, if I see a good sale, maybe I'll get turned on a little bit and then be Ooh. like, okay, honey, rabbit signal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Costco. I know what I'm problems. buying you now. Oh. <laughs> we have to get her rabbit and panda stuff. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a furry confirmed. Yeah. We already established that. That's true. With you the kitty. Your, uh, yeah, you and your mittens. Mm-hmm. I love my mittens and my ears, okay? I watched it's like your... It's like Halloween. <laughs> yeah. I watched your video, um, your unboxing video of all the LA Comic Con fun geeky stuff that you brought back. Watch yeah. that video. Yeah, my kitty hit. My kitty ears and the gloves are my favorite part. Oh, of yeah. The no, those are so thing. fun. Those are great. That <laughs> store had a lot of cute things in it, too. I, I did like the, the schoolgirl outfit. Um, Where I'd wear it, I don't know. Because I probably wouldn't wear it. Well, but I'd want one. Remember we saw that one that had the, like, uh, it was like the schoolgirl, but it had the, or it was like the cat, but it had the booby window in, in the shape of a heart Oh, or something. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there were some good ones in there. If I was on stream, I'd be like, okay, guys, if you really want this, I will buy it and I'll wear it on stream. But I just, I couldn't fathom actually like being like, oh my God, I'm going to buy it because that's something I definitely want to wear all the time. Right, right. Now, maybe like if Mark were there, he could have been like, yeah, I'll get this for you. It's stuff for the drive. It'd be something for, for yeah. you guys. Well, it'd be for him then. It's, oh, it's yeah. the same thing, right? Chat, sure. chat wants it, chat gets it. But uh, you weren't there at the time, chat. I didn't know what to do. So I didn't get it. Yeah. Now, would, and this uh, is why you have to stream 24-7. <laughs> oh, God. Content-minded. Yes. yes. I still have to make my LA Comic-Con videos of, like, walking around. It will happen at some point. I haven't, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> You've been busy. Very busy. Yeah. By the time uh, LA Comic-Con comes around again, I might have been finished the video. <laughs> Is it, uh, do you find that it's just the editing portion of it or just the, um, editing? And I just have a lot of things that I need to do as well. So I prioritize all the stuff like, uh, it, the hierarchy of content goes, um, probably Gary, my personal streams that I do with friends and then all my other personal stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. any videos that may need to be done or something, you know? which I haven't streamed like consistently in a long time. I don't know if you, you guys are like chat has noticed, like I 
do all the other stuff if I can. But if it's a collab stream, I'll I'll try to prioritize that because that, you know, I promised I would do that. Except for the Thursdays, I think Kara and I, we haven't done a Thursday stream in so long. Oh. Yeah. I streamed this Thursday. Oh, I played good. Flipper. <laughs> oh, I guess it, I was there. I was there. I was like, this is our dream home. She's making it. I love it. I that game it looks fun. <laughs> That game looks fun. Um, and I've been playing Fay Farm offline before bed. Oh, like my little. Oh, you hooked on another game. Relax. Oh, and the DLC just came out for that too. There's a DLC. Oh. Yeah. Because I'm a, I've made it to the the floating islands. Um. Okay. So okay. Cool. Cool. I know where you are then. Yeah. So I, I'm making progress, but it, it's taking a long time. Fa uh, the floating islands takes a way longer time to run through than it does the other um the caves. Yes. Just so. wait until you get to the scorching caverns. They're even yeah. uh, longer. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, I, you'll have to use the zoom potion, I think. Because I thought about it. I'm like, maybe I should. I'm like, yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> so speaking of uh, games, I saw that. So I'm I'm not a gamer. Like I... Not only am I terrible at games, but uh, I just don't, I prefer to do painting or reading or something than play a video game. However, I just noticed that Blizzard has released a new thing for World of Warcraft, like vanilla, and I am very, very tempted to, to um, get back into it. Have you guys seen this? Would you guys be interested in doing, going back to WoW, like vanilla? I've oh, never God. played it, so... Ooh. You don't want me to do that. <laughs> because then your whole channel will just be that. Kara becomes a WoW streamer. Yeah, no, really. I mean, I mean, that's I before I ever started streaming. Like, I had a group of guys that I would play WoW with. We would start. We would start playing like right after work, and we'd play until the sun came up. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, I believe it I'll though. How many hours have you put in WoW, do you think? Just out of oh, curiosity. Oh, hundred. Thousands, you think? Shut up, you. This is... <laughs> Nobody asked Nerd. you. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking thousands. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking thousands, then. Um, I don't think thousands, but definitely in the hundreds. Because Conan, I think I put 300 hours in that game so far. Around 300. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I played offline, though, so that's probably why. Uh, Same with what? No Man's Sky. Yeah. No Man's Sky, I probably put 100. Um, that that game, I still have not finished the game. I don't know what it means to finish the game, so maybe one day. One day, we'll see. I, uh, um, yeah, yeah. I would say if, if I've put any hours into a game it would very like it would easily be uh the warhammer or the warhammer uh the warcraft um whether it's like world of warcraft world of warcraft or the warcraft 3 game uh those were the ones that i played in high school and i was obsessed Ooh. so i have a good amount of hours i would say probably hundreds um oh because i played so that is where where gamer max comes to comes i think we should play. get him to play world of warcraft i mean let's do it maybe they i think i don't know how to play free... it <laughs> oh me neither i would have to remind my because like when i say high school i mean probably like more like middle school so between seventh eighth and ninth grade maybe a little bit of sophomore year uh so we're we're talking about like three to four years here of Max doing like LAN parties of like going over to someone's house, all of us Aww. having our laptops or computers out and doing raids in like our guilds and stuff. It I was. I love that. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Fucking super adorbs. nerds. <laughs> so... That's super my kind of nerd. Adorbs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was such a good time. Um, that was like, oh, that was the life no worries at all just playing world of warcraft yeah that was a lot of fun but. did you guys wherever you grew up have internet cafes where people did land parties i remember doing that as a, like no 
my older brother did that a lot and they just like because i think it was like three dollars for an hour hmm. at the the place which is like it's expensive for the time but when you're a kid and you don't have anything to else to do it's great oh yeah right we didn't have like anything like that in my little town uh we had one here in southern california um that was pretty rad i never used it because we always just went to my buddy's place but uh i do know that they could that those are like really um beneficial that a lot of guys like to use it so mm -hmm. good consistent computers yeah oh that th those are like way god now those um internet cafes oh yeah well because yeah i also you can just oh sorry go ahead oh uh, i was gonna say they're they're good for printing <laughs> oh printing <laughs> When in one college, didn't have a printer. Yeah. <laughs> in college, I would just go to the library to print my stuff. I'm like, I'm not going to buy a printer. Oh, my God. Okay, so uh, Ram Barag on my side says, I have 18,336 <gasps> hours on my main, main, main wow account. account. That's not including the alts. Holy shit. Dang! That's a uh, 764 days. That's more than a year. Wow. <laughs> Almost two years. Oh my god! Not that I'm judging. I'm just impressed, actually. No, that, me too. I'm I'm impressed. Like, what is it? Ten thousand hours to be an expert at something, or is it a hundred thousand? I forget. I have but. no clue. But if I need any advice, Rombarog, I know who to go to. <laughs> about wow that and tombia tombia is i think around ten thousand, which is about a little more than half of yours so dang that's wild Oof. i wonder what az is at uh, he was a wow streamer at the beginning right Mhm. Mm mm, don't know chat does anyone know about az's hours it's not 38 seconds i know that <laughs> for that i mean <laughs> um God. Oh, okay. Do you guys have a friendlies in, or used to have a friendlies in your neighborhood? Because I went to a friendlies for the first time and apparently it used to be a big chain back in the day. No, I'd never heard of it until I saw your stream. Uh, I'm yeah. obsessed with it now. I, I want to eat there is. again. Oh, it's a restaurant. Maybe it's like a Northeast thing. Maybe it might be a Northeast thing then. I'm not sure. I saw there, there used to be like 500 across where? Who knows? But. The food there is almost too good. It make it's the, it's like the reason why America's fat type of good. <laughs> That's a lot of places here in America. <laughs> like a lot of restaurants. It's like man, mm -hmm. this is why we're so fat. Mhm. Mm but yeah, oh, the food. I want to do more food streams. It makes me want to do more food streams, and I think people are enjoying the food streams. I could see I'm that. down. I like uh, food. Yes, Kara, Kara, and I. Max will be eating healthy. We should go do some hot pot sometime. Oh, yes. Ooh. Do you have hot pot in your area? Yeah, we've got one um, up north. Okay. We're going to go hot pot at some point. Hot pot in a tube top. No, I'm kidding. I, I will not wear a tube top. I don't think I even own a tube top. I do not. Ooh, who was it that was telling me those hot tub streamers? Not the hot tub streamers. Sorry. The topless streamers on Twitch. They apparently wear a tube top and they just have it very low, which makes so much sense now because I would be afraid of a nip slip. Mm, yeah. Yeah, they know how to they know how to work the game, play the game, work the system and play the game. That's what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, before mm -hmm. I forget, um, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my friends here in SoCal, um, because he got me a uh, he got me a, a Christmas present, which was super super generous and kind. Um, okay. Yeah, I won't say who it is because I want to keep it anonymous because I don't you know I don't know if people want to be known on my YouTube channel or anything. So I will just say thank you. You know who you are, uh, but I wanted to show this off. Ooh, okay. The, Ooh, uh, let me pull it up. Hi, Marshall Helbrecht, Warhammer 40k figure. Um, it's Catching beautiful. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, so this is the High Marshal of the Black Templars. Um, oh, that looks 
cool. Cool, right? Yeah. Oh, dang. Hold on. It hasn't shown up for me yet. <laughs> so I'm... Oh, there it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That I can't wait to you paint that. Right? Oh, my God. This thing is going to be a monster. Um, so, yeah. No, I'm stoked. I'm really excited to uh, build this guy, paint him up. And uh, just a very thoughtful, very generous, kind uh, Christmas present. So, like I said, you know who you are. Thank you so much for this. And uh, if you're watching, truly, I, I can't. Uh, this was really, really kind. So I'm looking forward to putting this guy on the tabletop. But... What's he called again? The Black Templar Knight? So he is the High Marshal, basically the leader of the Black oh. Templars. So if you guys have okay. seen me painting Space Marines in like all black armor... Uh, that's who this guy, he's like their leader. So Very cool. Oh my gosh. I love... Good friend. Yeah, I know, right? How cool is that? So um, I just, I love how, if you guys notice, this was a big meme when this first, when this model first came out because the guy on the bottom of the base is cleaning his sword as he's stabbing it into this like orc carcass. Um, oh, that's I just, cool. I, th <laughs> I just thought it's so funny and absurd. It's like... He's got these slaves that are constantly I cleaning love that. his like armor and weaponry and stuff. It's so awesome. So, very cool. Continuous blood. But yeah, just that's awesome. Just, uh, just thought I would show that off just for funsies. That's very cool. What uh, nice friends. I know. Yeah, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, sir. So what are you guys asking for for uh, Christmas? Anything in particular? Sleep. Mm. That's a good one. <laughs> well, I get that probably not, but that's okay. anything for Christmas. Did I, honey? I tried to get you one for Christmas. I don't know what I, I want. No I was no help this year. Oh, so you made... I don't know what I want. You made him guess? Yeah. Do you think he's going to do a good job <laughs> oh he always does oh always gets you exactly what you didn't know you even needed yes well last year he got me the laser engraver which was awesome oh, Ooh. That's cool. but he uh, had to give it to me early because it was too big to hide oh that's Ooh. what she said i love that i was about to say like wait that. a second did he put a, <laughs> did he put a bow on something and uh oh <laughs> I want to I want to get a cricket. Um, those look fun because I wanted to make ornaments for at home. Yeah. Um, you know, like first Christmas and I wanted <laughs> it all started off with I wanted all my co favorite content creators ornaments and I thought oh my god what great merch idea would that would be. Oh, but I also good. want like just like cute at home ones like love. I'm so cheesy I know. <laughs> would it say live laugh love? No, I just would say love. Oh. And maybe bimbo. Those were the two ones wine. I wanted. And uh, oh, yes, wine. Yes, you're and very maybe right. Maybe white people. Uh, yeah, F, F white people. F white people. I love <laughs> that you have. You're gonna have one that says bimbo. That's hilarious. Yeah, I wanted one that says bimbo. So those are the reasons why. Will I do it? Uh, that will be a next year idea. Maybe mm. I'll get one for um birthday or maybe i'll just do it for work and then uh if people are interested in ornaments i would probably i'll have to figure it out for next year in 10 months look into the x tool m1 it has a laser engraver and it does the cutting like the cricket does oh two in one uh -huh. yes mm. okay guys what and other ornaments <laughs> x2 m1 was it? Uh, X tool M1. Tool. I'll, send, okay. I'll send you the link to it. Thank you. I made up my own words, clearly. <laughs> Thank you, Kara. Oh my God. Yeah. I just, I wanted those um, personalized ornaments because I thought about buying them. They're like $20. Mm. Like, why don't I just cut out the, the company and make yeah. my own? Hell yeah. Yeah, I think Absolutely. doing them out of like shrink plastic could also be fun. Like you but can hard like to put on. Huh? huh? It would be hard to put on the ornament, right? A circular one? No, I mean you actually make the ornament out of the shrink plastic. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Maybe. 
We'll have to look into you it. Cut, you, you can cut the shrink plastic with the X tool or the Cricut. And then um, basically you just have to like make it three times bigger or four times bigger than what you actually want it to be. Um, it shrinks to that size. Cool. And uh, it's it's pretty cool. I like I, mean, I, I like making some like keychains and stuff with the with the shrink plastic. Yes, yes, but yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. Uh, Kara is inspiring me to be creative. Yeah, that sounds rad. I love it. I uh... just like my crafts. Yesterday, all day, I was basically messing with my laser engraver. Oh. Hmm. Very cool. Did you make anything fun? Uh, I was messing with some settings for um, some coasters to engrave, like, my sister-in-law's dogs on. Um, I had done some pretty... They, they turned out pretty cool on these, like, rock coasters that I had. Like, they were stone. Um, but I couldn't get the settings quite right for, like, on wood. So I've got to figure that out. So, and it just uh, burns the wood too much. Since we're also talking about Christmas gifts and, you know, uh, fun little crafts and stuff for, for the holidays, uh, do you guys have any favorite Christmas movies and or m songs, like music and stuff? The Elf! Oh, okay, yeah, favorite. yeah. With Will Ferrell. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just uh, the right amount of happy. Yeah. Oh, what is that? What was the song that we heard in the coffee shop yesterday, honey? Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Because I really like, there's a acapella version of one of the songs. I can't remember what it was. But it, like, it gives me goosebumps every time still. Is it like uh, Baby It's Cold Outside, where it's like the two of them Baby singing together? Baby It's Cold. Outside. No. Hmm. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm, sure. I, I'm completely blanked on the name of the of the singers. Shoot, is um, it like a more recent song? It's one that they've done within the last like few years. Okay. Um, Pentatonix did it. Oh yeah. Oh, I like Pentatonix. Yeah, pen they, they've done Little Drummer Boy. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Holy Night. Okay. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. That's all right. I just figured I'd, I'd ask. Um, but I really like Jingle All the Way. Oh, yes, with Arnold. Oh. Yes, I love Jingle All the Way. And <laughs> then uh, Miracle on 34th Street is one I really like too. Ooh, I need the to newer one. Oh, wow. Okay. With, with Mara Wilson in it. I need to watch that. I have not seen it. Um, Yeah, Josh says. I love Elf. Home Alone 2? What? Home Alone 2? Over 1? What? Yeah, what do you... What? Uh, ooh, we bat... walked into a little shop yesterday, and the first Home Alone was on in there. That's awesome. Very cute, Aww. very cute. Uh, Batman Returns. Ooh, Mary, did you know? That's oh, it. Okay. What was it? Sorry? Repeat, Mary... repeat, repeat. Mary, did song, you know? Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? I probably know it. I just don't remember it off the top of my head. And that oh was the pentatonics hair. one? The, or that's yeah, that's the one? pentatonics one. Thank you, Lone Star. You are awesome. Good call, Lone Star. Good good, good memory. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Josh was saying also Batman Returns and Die Hard. Ooh, and Die Hard and... is a Christmas movie. Absolutely. I know. Everyone, this is always every year. <laughs> is Die Hard a Christmas movie? It's always I have like... it confirmed by Grok the AI that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Oh, yeah. I finally got that tab on my uh, Twitter, so it's updated for me. Because <laughs> so I was like, where do I find Grok? I couldn't find him, but oh. I think it's just Canadian Twitter. Grok. He, he got lost. Got lost oh in the God. update. 
Josh says, Clay Aiken has a good Mary, did you know? I forgot about Clay oh, Aiken. Oh, Clay Aiken. Oh, man, that boy. It, it's so funny that um, he was he won, but Ruben actually got a better career. Not that it was that much better, but, you know, than him. Or was it the other way around? Uh, I think, I, I mean, I think Clay has a much more notorious. Then it was notorious. Ruben that won, and then oh, uh, Clay it? Aiken did better in his career. Okay. Yeah. I remember watching it as a kid and being like, yeah, I want Clay to win. And then watching it now, I'm like, wow, he is uh, very, very um, flamboyantly gay. And I never noticed as a kid. <laughs> I just thought that was just like, you know, more feminine or whatever. But yeah, too funny. I need to see this now. Because <laughs> I don't remember it either. At least I remember, like, I remember watching one of his songs or auditions and I was like, oh, wow. I guess I just never noticed. Uh, All-time favorite American Idol contestant. Who would be your favorite? For me, I know it would be William Hung. William Hung. Yeah. Yes, he's... that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> he is yes! the quintessential oh American Idol. He's Honestly, he's the one with the biggest career <laughs> out of everyone. I mean, the it's fact like... that we still know who he is and he didn't even make it into right? the show... Yeah, <laughs> he captured America's hearts, and yes. yeah, through his just, I think his urn is like, I'm an accountant, but I love singing, and you're just like, oh, the passion. Oh yeah. So and just how, yeah, how much he was just he went in on that she bang song, loved it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, and he still does. Uh, he didn't go into the influencing world. He just. D did it for fun yeah. yeah he just loved to sing and people loved him for it so mm -hmm. um magdalena morani thank you for the ten dollar tip it says merry christmas everyone merry christmas i look so haggard this morning i apologize oh no you don't you guys look great I do. do by the way i, I love... woke up and came over here that's it oh same that's what i did kara i love your uh your hoodie the one that we got from uh la comic-con so right. Oh, my Inuyasha one. I yeah. love this hoodie. Very it cute. It makes me very happy. Yeah. Very cute hoodie. Uh, it's very cozy. I will <laughs> say... Oh, so apparently Home Alone 2 is the one where they're in New York, and I think that's the one with Trump, and so I'm like, oh, okay, maybe yeah. that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because uh, they're in Trump oh, Tower. Trump. Oh, Trump. <laughs> What would we do without you? <laughs> Where would America be without Trump? Oh my God! Where would? Think yeah, about that's it. Such a good question. God. I think it'd be worse off. Oh, well, who was yeah, he Hi against Hil when he Hillary. won? Hillary would have taken Ugh. over. Yeah. Yeah. So it would have been worse. Oh yeah. yeah. I think we'd be worse off. I think we'd be in the middle of a war right now. Absolutely. Yeah. I kind of agree. Well, so. I mean. Kara, you and, well, your husband probably know what happened during Benghazi, and I met mm -hmm. some of those dudes who were stranded in that uh, war zone, and when I asked them about, hey, like, well, what was really going on behind the scenes? They were like, oh yeah, she abandoned us. Like, she <gasps> legitimately left us there to die. And I was oh like, my god, that's so oh, sad. Wow. Like, you really don't care about American lives that literally yeah. you put themselves on the line for you. Yeah. So that's sad. It, it would have been that, but for the entire country. So not to go no. off on a tangent, but no, yeah. I think that's so. important to know because yeah. this these are the things that people like myself don't get told about. Um, but yeah, no, that is uh, that is super. <laughs> that is a, such an interesting question. Where would we be without Donald Trump? You know what's interesting too. Where would we be culturally? Because I wonder how comics and movies would be right now without Trump. No it, idea. Like a lot of the individuals in Hollywood and in creative industries and like, you know, just He's culture in general have mm -hmm. the TDS, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't. No idea. It could, yeah. it could have gone either either way, like really good or really bad. Yeah. Huh. So. What a, what an interesting thought and question. Yeah. 
Josh, the yeah. fact that you would say that you like the Kelly Clarkson Christmas music, you don't even need to say that you're gay anymore. That's just... <laughs> we just assume. Yeah. If if someone says, like, oh, what, what Christmas music do you like? And you go, oh, I like the Kelly Clarkson stuff. You're basically like, oh, like, I'm... Oh, so you like penis. Oh, so you're a gay man. Yeah. You like the peen. <laughs> you uh, like the peen. Well, okay, wait. Do you like Kelly Clarkson more, or do you like the Mariah Carey? Because there's, uh, there's a couple that I, like, love um, from the podcast I listen to, and they are, like, huge fans of Mariah Carey. Uh, they love, like, her, her, like, when she gets thought up for Christmas, those commercials. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go Mariah Carey. Plus, she's like, she's a hottie with a body, so. Ooh. Well, and Car Kelly Clarkson in her heydays, I, I would say she's, I would think, I personally for me, I think she's more beautiful than Mariah, but, oh, you know. Okay. Not not today's Kelly Clarkson. It's okay. You know, we all gain weight. Yeah. It's fair. No, sure. But Mariah's kept that up. Ooh. Yeah. Oof. Good night. I think she's I like Kelly Clarkson's personality more. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because yeah, isn't Mariah kind of a... Beesh. She's a little crazy. Yep. I don't know if it's the rain or what, but he's being so needy today. Oh, man. He's been he's fed. Right. He's been outside. I hope he's doing okay. Yeah. Um. Can you imagine being uh, Nick Cannon and married, previously married to Kelly Clarkson and then having, like, family uh, gatherings yeah. with the kids? <laughs> Mariah, oh. would she go? Probably not. Oh, wait. So Nick Cannon has been married to both of these women? No, no, just... Uh, sorry, Mariah. Just Mariah. Oh, okay. Just Mariah. Um, just Mariah. Did I say Kelly Carson? Probably yeah, just had her. I, I, thought, I thought you meant like, oh, he was first married to Kelly and then got married to uh, oh, Mariah. God. And I'd be like, what a nightmare. No. Oh. oh. I, don't, I don't think I could stand it. Cr Christmas would be fun in the Cannon household, though. Oof. With all the women and the babies. That <laughs> would be wild. I'm going to go grab a drink real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. But yeah. Um, I think... Kelly Clarkson is too... Uh, I think she's too nice for him. Oh, yeah. No, that, that would never work. <laughs> um, I want to say... So my favorite Christmas movie of all time, all time, is uh, oh, yes. The Santa Claus um, with Tim Allen. And I, I just remember vividly, or I vividly remember watching it uh, as a kid with my dad. And uh, it was just, yeah, it was, it's still to this day makes me laugh uh, and still brings back like great memories. And though it may not be like the most technically great film, like there are parts where it's like, oh, this is cheesy. Um, or like it's the. the uh, yeah, the, the nostalgia hits pretty hard, and it's just so, like, good-natured and, uh, like, traditional in its values and everything. It's just really, really sweet. So, the Santa Claus mm -hmm. is where it's at for me. But. And what about songs? Ooh, uh, there's a song in Die Hard that I really like. Um, I think it's called Christmas in Hollis. Uh, that one's oh. a lot of fun, so I like that one. I probably have heard it. I just don't recall it. I'm yes. gonna have to. You for find, sure heard it. Yeah. Find it. Find a copy of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, Michael says National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is my favorite. That's a good one. Ooh, yeah. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh my god! Like, I remember watching the Santa Claus. Do I remember what happened in it? Hell no. But I just. Uh. I just looked up from my screen and saw that Kara is sharing Gary's photo right now. <laughs> <laughs> or I think she's showing uh, the hubby. Gary. Yeah, oh. I see it. It might be a bit delayed on your side. It's maybe. super delayed. Never mind. I was watching at it. But <laughs> I, I love that we get to see it again and relive that moment. Yes, we do. Blabs comments. Uh, I wasn't alive yet. <laughs> yep. Blabs is such a baby. Like, I know. oh my god, I forget how young she is, and then she reminds me, and I'm like, eh, I'm an old fart. Oh. I'm an old fart. I just find it funny that Gary was like, I was barely a week old when that picture was taken. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and he was already cementing. Shut up, honey. <laughs> cementing his uh, his legacy in life. 
Gary could be all our dads. <laughs> yeah, he could. Who knows? Maybe not Mark or my husband, but... Yeah, that might Very be. young dad. <laughs> <laughs> but he could definitely be any of us three's dad. Mm -hmm. He kind of felt like a, a father figure when uh, you, I, um, uh, and Melissa were hanging out. It's like Mel Melissa had like the very maternal energy going on. I think she was like missing her kids. She made us breakfast, Aww. made sure we had drinks. I mean, she was in full mom mode, and I loved Abs it. Absolutely, freaking lutely. And I was just like, thank you. And like, I know, even when it was so sweet. I loved hanging out with them too. Yeah, she would tell us what to do, and I do it right away because I'm like, yes, mom. <laughs> in my head, <laughs> yes, I, I, could, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be able to not listen to her. You know, like she just exudes that clearly. Yeah. So, yeah, loved hanging out with them. And then the Max is like the 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 nephew that comes and visits. <laughs> <laughs> even though I'm like the youngest one. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, I guess I would be the nephew then, yeah. <laughs> um, it is funny because uh, I think Gary had, like, mentioned it on stream or something. I forget where, what he talked about, but he was like, yeah, all the girls are here. Thankfully, Max showed up because, like, it, had, it added at least some testosterone to the room or something like that. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> like, yeah, sorry, buddy. Yeah, because oh. he's never been in a house with just girls. It's yeah. always Melissa in the house, just boys. Yeah. And and the kids and oh my god. Yeah. So yeah. he, I don't, I don't blame him for getting a hotel room to go and film. <laughs> <laughs> if we were too loud to be fair, and he was gonna we be awake were. till God knows when. But I think it was so sweet that, you know, at this hotel room, you could sleep there if you wanted. Okay, he could. What did he do? He came back home and slept with Melissa. Of course. Aww. Yeah. yeah. So uh, very they're sweet. So sweet. Yeah. I I really enjoyed hanging out with them. Yeah. They they they're they're cool ones. Yeah. Very cool. They are. Ones. Good uh, good power couple dynamic there. I liked our 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 cute little family photo that we did in front of the convention. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was that mm -hmm. was great. That was my favorite picture from the weekend. Yes. It turned out looking Although great, there are, there's, there's some ones of Max that I got that oh are my, really funny. Oh my god. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, there are. Uh-huh. The, okay. the, I, I, was I wasn't say, the furry. He's the furry. Who's okay? Which which <laughs> picture that X-ray took was better? The one in the uh in the panel? At Tom's? Uh, the what? Or, yeah, the one at Tom's where I'm a furry, or the one during the panel yeah. where I looked back and she just happened to snap a photo of me. Oh my god, that was so funny! <laughs> I found you! As I like turn around and look directly at the camera. Where are you? That's I found you! Really <laughs> Oh, You're just like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> I miss you guys so much already. Aww. I know, I know. Such a bummer. Because the next time is going to be a very long time, like a few months. Uh, February? Uh, possibly. Um, that's true. Two months. January, February. Well, I may not see you guys until Vegas. So I think mine... April, so four months. Yeah, mine will be April. Okay. And then after that, I think is Dallas. So... Yeah. We'll have to see. Hopefully, April's gonna be a busy month because I think I'll be going to. I think I'll be going to San Antonio in April, and then, and then possibly and... Vegas. Possibly. I know you're yeah. not confirmed yet, so. Oh. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully I, I'll you. probably try to make Vegas. I'll I'll make it happen. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I know, know I want to see Nadia's Nadia and Chris as well. Yeah. And then yeah. of course my family that live in Vegas. Um. Yeah. Yeah, Nadia and Chris are great. They actually came down here in SoCal not too long ago, and we nerded out for a little while. Went to a couple comic shops, and so yeah, they're great. Met Nadia, right? Yes. You yeah, you guess. met Nadia. Okay. Like, did I meet Chris? I think I did. Oh my god. I believe so. Yeah, I mean, they're they, good people. They're I like them. They're also my brain is farting. Oh my couple. god! Nadia was on the show with you the other day. Yes, yes. That that's why I remember Nadia. But yeah. I'm trying to. I, I'm Chris Gore keeps popping up in my head every time I think about it. Yeah, oh. not not Chris Gore or Chris Frank Gore. Gore. 
Frank Gore has that effect on people. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will be right back. I'm gonna grab some coffee. Sounds good. Yeah. The, the juice of life, coffee. I have my gamer juice right now. Oh, do you? I was thinking How about have you been liking out. it. Uh, I can't drink too much. I get um. I don't think it's like the jitters. I get just like very lightheaded and hyper, too too hyper for my comfortability. Oh. Um, and I don't want to be like that because that means you you got too much caffeine in your body. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness! Anonymous tipped a dollar twenty eight. No message. Thank you, anonymous. I appreciate that. That's very sweet. Mm hmm. Yeah. What What about you? How are you liking your gamer juice? I actually really like it. I mean, I've definitely come cut back on the amount of soda I've been drinking. Yes. Um, I wanted I to get, get the non-caffeine one. That's exactly what I was just about to say is I want to get the non-caffeinated one. That way I have something like kind of more flavorful to drink, like with dinner and such. That way I can cut off the caffeine at a certain time. Because that is not a good thing to have before bed. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is when once I solidify plans for next, um, for sure, next, like, U.S. trip, I'll get that sent over because I don't want to pay duties. I'm so cheap. <laughs> I don't blame you. Cause, yeah, uh, you just, like, if, uh, if you decide to drive down, uh, I mean, if anything, I'll be driving to Megacon in Florida. Are, are you driving yeah. solo or are you going to drive with It'll the hubby? my husband oh. and fat dog, so you would have to share the back seat with Gus. Oh my god. That is not a, like a, that's not going to deter me. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He takes up a lot of space. Uh, that is true. My, I'm used to small dogs. <laughs> yes. Mm. I think um, I think knowing me, I probably would just go straight to Florida, so I don't um, yeah. uh, what's the word? And for then it? you can ride back Maximize. with us if you wanted to, Ooh. and then stay Hang with out. me for a couple days. Okay, that actually is a then... viable option. So, or should I do it the other way around? <laughs> Corey says no put your husband back there and let x-ray ride in front <laughs> okay to, to be fair though uh husband would need to sit in front because he's got the longer legs uh he is he is a humongous. giant yes. he was humongous and you have to respect that I have two giant brothers who don't fit in the back seats and uh it it's very funny once they hit a certain age and I don't know if uh this pertains to um Jeremy but we we let the big huge people sit in the front, and the, my parents and I always sit in the back when we used to drive together as a family. Oh, because it just was so uncomfortable for me to sit back there, and they don't care to drive anymore. So let the kids drive. Yeah, I uh, my mom typically will sit in the back whenever we're in a car together, but that's also her way of saying, "Hey, I don't want to drive. You drive." <laughs> She's like, "I'm ready for my Uber." Yeah. Yeah. They've done it all their lives, so I, I, I respect that. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, used to you sitting. spent many a year driving me wherever you want. Where I mean, wherever I wanted. So I guess it's my turn. All, all my hobbies. All the hobbies. Oh my god. <laughs> my poor mother. She... <laughs> the amount of things she probably was so bored of watching. Oh yeah, she's skating again. Oh my god. It's that time of year, soccer time. Oh gosh, that's it's right. Only... Yeah, because since what? you're Canadian, you uh, you were a big skater. I think even when we went by that uh, skating rink, you were like, "Oh yeah, I remember I how to skate. do this." I miss it. I no. miss it. It was really fun back in the day. Um, I had only been ice skating like once or twice. Why? Why? Shut up. <laughs> what do you say? He says because you'd hurt yourself. Oh. oh. How is your coordination, Kara? Oh, horrible. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's why he says that. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I am a very clumsy individual. See, I'm clumsy on land. Unless I'm dancing. 
As soon as you get me dancing, I, I'm very coordinated. You're like, oh yeah, we're good now. There is no coordination in my body. Oh. Except when I'm playing video games. I do pretty well at playing video games. She's good at coordinating her fingers on the, the yeah. D-pad. The directional pad, I mean. Is that what they call it now? Yeah! I was laughing when Mark said it to me the first time. <laughs> like, what'd you call it? He's like, it's not supposed to be meant like that, but like, what'd you call it? <laughs> I'm a child. I, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, Kara is much better at video games than I am, which means that you would most likely have to have some sort of hand-eye coordination and like dexterity, I would think. I mean, I guess I did do like dance and stuff whenever I was younger, because I did color guard and winter guard. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's that true. Stuff is, so, uh, that's... I have some, but I mean, I got hurt a lot during it. Mm. Yeah. Oh no! But uh, it was fun. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. Oh, look at this little mini pamphlet! It's like this. My hand is bigger than this thing. Let's see. Sorry, I'm. I'm this looking. This is starting to look good. I can see it. Your uh. Ooh, let's pull it up real quick. Oh, right I need to see. Up. I need to see. I like the uh, pastel colors on this. It's a totally yeah. different color scheme than your Darth Vader one. I know. I think I'm going to leave Darth Vader here. I'm going to wind up the camera, adjust it so that he's always in the shot. Or Ooh. I need to actually put it on the background yeah. one day. I do like the tone of those colors. They're very mm -hmm. kind of more of like a flat color. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. going to, I think it, I really like that. That's going to be pretty. Uh-huh. I agree. I agree. It's going to be so good. Would you call I'm those... happy you showed me this. Yeah, Kara, good looking out. That was a great find. It's a really beautiful picture. Oh. Um, would you call those more Easter colors or like uh, pastel colors? Is that what that color scheme would be? Yes, okay. so far. Um, they do look a little lighter on screen, but mm -hmm. um, on, on the screen, yes, I would agree. Pastel colors all the way. All the freaking way. Uh... I, I, I'm digging this because I mean I love the show. I'm gonna, I have to watch the anime at some point, but that's a big task. That's a huge commitment. Uh, you thought marriage was a commitment, watching <laughs> all of One Piece. Oh my lord! Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because aren't they on like even the manga is on like volume? They're in like 1, episode 000. eleven hundred or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's It'd be nuts. faster to read the manga, I think, than it is to watch the show. I guess so, yeah, because you could, I guess, read at your own pace, which would be maybe quicker. And knowing me, I have to have full concentration. I can't do dubbed, so it will be subbed, and I have to have full concentration, which oh, wouldn't be feasible for uh, viewing on, you know, you know. Why do you prefer the subbed version? It's more accurate. Voices are usually better, and I prefer the a Asian voices to American voices. They sound less annoying. <laughs> wow, Sorry. racist much. I'm, no, I'm hey, I'm American too, okay? <laughs> I agree. We are very annoying sounding. Like, the girls sound super feminine, the men sound super masculine, and it, it works for me. Yeah. I don't know. Do you agree, Kara? Or, like, do you think I'm, like, very off-center with that? I typically don't watch dubbed, or I don't watch subbed just because I typically multitask. Um whenever i have a show on mm -hmm. um so mm -hmm. that is why i typically will watch uh dubbed so which i agree with i prefer that but i just when it comes to these long-standing animations like i think 2020 onwards you can maybe deal with subbed uh, or sorry dubbed but uh previous from that i don't know those voice oh, voice actors are just they don't sound like they're trying hard enough for me but they're not good enough for you? They're not That's good enough. <laughs> uh, uh, I hate white voice actors. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I F white voice actors, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, if I could figure out a way to understand Japanese, uh, maybe that would actually be the way for me to do it. It's a great way to practice listening skills, I suppose. Yeah, I really want to learn Japanese. 
I think it'd be a great, a great language to learn. That and Spanish are the two. Yep. It'd be so fun to be able to go to Japan and just like speak to people that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm painting little details right now on a quiver. Also, Max, you sound far away from the mic. I don't know if that changed. Sorry. Is this better? Yeah. Sorry about that. Um yeah, a buddy of mine was saying that he was learning Japanese or Chinese or something, and while he was doing that, he noticed that their language has an inflection thing. So if you say oh, a word Chinese. With, Yeah, if you say a word with a different inflection, it will mean a different thing. Which to me is wild. That's crazy. That would be so difficult. But Yeah, uh I remember the word uh cow cow. Uh, C O W, depending on the inflection of the O, can mean so many different things. So be very careful oh. speaking to people. Interesting. You never know um. what you're saying to them. <laughs> it's like uh, but... if, you know, Americans thought that like flipping people off with the middle finger was like waving, it would be like, well, mm -hmm. that's not, no, it's not how you do that. <laughs> it's like uh, in India, they head shaking side to side, like, like tilting, that's a yes. Whereas in America, it's nodding, right? So, it's Whoa, like little little things. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I would be in. I, I did not know that. A lot of trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I went there. laughs> it's all these little cultural things, and I was watching a um, a video. Uh, people hate. Uh, they, like they think people are being targeted in Japan when they get their bicycles checked, which apparently is like something very common. And there was a streamer, like a, a it was a black guy, being like, "This is racism." Well, no, this happens all the time. You just have not, are not used to it. Mm, yeah, that that same he was a yeah, like you said, I think he was a Twitch streamer who I think he's now in prison because he was. Yes, that in, guy. Yeah. So him and his friend, they were they were vaguer, uh vagrants though they would cause issues in the country um and you're you're being a nuisance in japan you you'll well we see it you get you go to jail oh yeah which is why people are so polite they are no nonsense there they don't here in the u.s you can steal you can you know cuss out a person in law enforcement you can do anything you want um japan you make one wrong eye contact and uh, you're done. Mm -hmm. so. I think even throwing garbage out is like technically an offense. I don't know if you would get jailed for it, but you know, you I can get maybe a fine. Yeah. I also feel like it's a um, it's a culture of respect, like respect for one's elders, yes. respect for mm -hmm. cu uh, culture and um, tradition. So they if you disrespect those things it's seen as like a an offense you know mm -hmm. so yeah absolutely I, I, I've Ooh, I just realized what time it is oh my uh, gosh yeah it's already noon yeah because i was like i'll start on another pot never mind oh. <laughs> <laughs> are uh, oh. are you guys going to be playing video games this afternoon video games hell yeah cool hell yeah it's lethal company more lethal company more uh alien hunting and looting we're looters in space okay nice space pirate yes i want that booty butt pirates yeah, i mean, you do. I mean space pirates <laughs> i want that space booty <laughs> <laughs> well uh have fun and thank you guys for thank uh hanging out this morning i um uh, I've missed you guys for the past two weeks, so. I have to. I want. I can't wait to hang out with you guys in person. Once again. Whenever that is. Yeah. Whenever that is, because yeah. that'll be. I feel like a long times away. I know. A few months, a few months, but that means uh, we'll just have to do more Warhammer streams and uh, paint streams and. Uh, maybe have a guest on. She didn't come on today, but maybe have yes. a special guest. Yes. So. I, I, I realized I didn't actually let the, the guest um in the, uh, what do you call it? Kara, you know what I'm talking about, right? The Preference? server? 
the server. She's on the server. Oh, okay. she uh, there we go. Sure. You guys know a gender now. She's <laughs> on the server, but I didn't give permissions to the her. To the her. <laughs> to the her. I I don't I don't know how to refer to. to yeah. <laughs> we want to keep it a secret just in case, you know, for for anonymity, and then because once they are wait on the show, the guys, yeah, so. <laughs> they're gonna be a permanent fixture with us. I can't wait. I cannot. I'm excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. Josh, unfortunately, it will not be Tina. We said she, okay? Tina is not a she. Who's Tina? Tina is Josh's uh, character that he created for my girlfriend here in California. But it's not a she. Oh. Okay. So, Tina. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Max, Max Tina would be your couple's name. I love it. Max Tina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My favorite couple's name that I've made up since this past weekend is Chianti. <laughs> Ooh, Keanu and uh, Gino, Gino Bisconti. <laughs> Chianti. That is it's very cute. Kara, what's your couple's name? Oh, gosh. Um, Jara? Jara? Jara. <laughs> Jara. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with that. Yeah. Jara. <laughs> uh, I'm Exborg. Exborg. <laughs> X board. Mark, mark, mark girl. Cyre? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mark girl. Mark girl. <laughs> now it just sounds like a person in California. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, chat, you guys have been wonderful. Please sub to yeah. Max, myself, Kara, if you haven't yet. And um, we'll be back next. Well, actually, I don't know if we'll be back next oh, week. We'll figure I it out. I will not. Okay. Maybe it'll be. Maybe. You, me, and special guest? I was going to say, yeah, maybe it can be the three of us. Um, but, uh, Kara, I'm sorry we won't be able to see you next week. But uh, I know. I will yeah, see you. Yeah, you're doing better you. things. We're being boring on our, being, on Christmas Eve. <laughs> nerds. Yeah. I got to go travel. Got a road trip ahead. It's fair. It's gotta for do a good the reason, thing. though. It's for, uh, for the mm -hmm. holidays. So. Yeah, yeah. I got to go see some fam. Yeah. But. Love well, you, chat. Yeah, thanks for being here, guys, and we'll see you next weekend. Yes. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye.